Yo, what's up everybody? Hello from Auckland. Welcome to anyone who is new to our channel and of course welcome back to any of our regular viewers. So, if you have been watching our vlogs for the past couple of weeks, want to take a guess where we might be headed out to today? Well, we've been north, we've been south, south we've been east, <laughs> leaves us the west. That's right, some of the most epic, scenic and nature spots are out west, so that's where we're headed off to today. Yeah, but first, favorite part of the day, we need to get some Ooh. food. <laughs> We just picked up our food from Joe Bro's Burgers from Street Feast, which is located in the Rise. It's like a food hall that has seven street food vendors all located inside. And today was their last day for click and collect because I think by tomorrow we're going to be down to level three, step two. So retail will be open and therefore yes. yeah, a little bit of limited people will be allowed indoors. So yeah, we got our orders here. As you can see, we've gone with burgers obviously <laughs> <laughs> this is Titirangi beach yeah we came over just a couple of minutes drive down here which is fantastic because we've got some tables too which is awesome and Peter went and got the original oh, burger yeah, that's the original burger yeah. And mine here is the vegan burger. <laughs> so we actually got a really nice um, message over on our Instagram the other day from Linux and Andresa who are supporters of our channel. And they were saying how much they enjoy our vlogs but also mentioned that they're a vegan couple. And even though Peter and I aren't vegans nor are we even vegetarians as you might have seen from all our vlogs and eating, they always appreciate how we enjoy good food. So today I decided to go with the vegan vegan burger kind of as like a mini tribute <laughs> to you guys. I actually quite enjoy vegan food. We both do. When we were in Cambodia one of our favorite places to eat was actually a vegan restaurant. Yeah it was real good. Yeah so it's awesome so we definitely do enjoy all foods. Mm. There's so much flavor in that sauce. Deliciously tangy, salty. I only got a tiny bit of the meat though. <laughs> Because <laughs> my baby bites. But the iceberg lettuce, it's so fresh. They really do make delicious quality burgers. Their buns are also um, uh, baked fresh daily. Listen yeah, you guys might on. be able to hear some little sounds. <laughs> it's because we've got some ducky friends. We're probably going to stop. No, no, he's still going. She's still going. <laughs> Mm. No, I did get some of that meat. And I don't know if you guys have tried mock meats before. I actually personally quite enjoy them. It's not for everyone, but it's amazing that the texture can be replicated so similarly. Yeah, usually it's made of mushroom. Is it? I'm meat. not yeah. sure what this one's made of, but yeah, it's great. It definitely gives you that feeling of eating a real like meat patty burger. <laughs> So Peter's already gone and yeah. eaten like half the chips. Sorry guys, I've, uh, I actually literally have eaten probably like half the chips. <laughs> Just a I got wait. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> They're really delicious, like perfectly salted. And I gotta say man, there's got to be so few things in this world that can be better than this right now. We're sitting right next to the beach. It's very quiet. There's a nice breeze on my back. Beautiful sunny day and I have got a prime New Zealand original beef burger right over here. It looks super fresh, smells amazing. Oh, I can smell the tang from that secret sauce. Let's have a bite. Mm. 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 Oh man. Oh, that. Sauce all over your lips. Mm. That <laughs> is an amazing burger, guys. You can really taste the quality of every single ingredient in there. The bun's got a nice little crisp to it, but it's so soft on the inside. The beef is just beautiful. That's like New Zealand raised cows right over there. <laughs> Locally sourced ingredients. Yeah. Oh, this is just fantastic. <laughs> Oh 
only 20 minutes from Titirangi Beach is Huia Point Lookout, which is where we are at right now. This is pretty close by, and I gotta say, man, today just feels like such a magical day. We're out in one of my favorite areas, the Waitax, and it's always good. I'm actually trying to convince Yen that maybe we should actually move out here for our forever home <laughs> later. Um, we were at Devonport the other day, and the houses there are around like $3 million, I was saying. I was just saying, like, you know, that's kind of a crazy price range, but... <laughs> Out here in West, it's a little bit more affordable. They're around about 1 to 1.3 million, depending on how big they are. But yeah, either something with a sea view or out in Piha. Magic. As you can see, the lookout point is right over there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And I think we're going to be treated to some spectacular views. Such an epic view, eh? I think I'm actually in love with this area. I'm really <laughs> gonna try harder to try and convince him to move out here eventually. It is beautiful. We have got panoramic views of Huia Bay as well as Monaco Harbour. Yeah. It is amazing. I think we were at that point like last year at some yes, time. Yes, that's right. It's the uh, Monaco Heads Lighthouse uh, on Afitu Peninsula, right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. To make it out, I'm trying to zoom in as close as out possible. there somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is just amazing. We've got a perfect day, the water is just crystal blue, and you've got all the birds and stuff around you. Beautiful southern Waitakere ranges. Amazing. It is. If you've seen our previous West Auckland vlog, you might remember that the Waitakere Ranges is a massive area, 16,000 hectares of native rainforest and coastal beauty. Right now we are headed over to Karamatura Valley and going to be doing a hike. I hear there are a lot of stairs though. So. Yes, like, favorite. Oh, it is a, <laughs> really not, but I'm, I'm sure that it's going to be an enjoyable walk. So if you're coming here, you need to look out for a Karamatura Valley sign that's on the main road. It's quite small, so it's easy to miss. Here's Yen. What's she looking at over here? I'm just reading about the story of this Paul Fenua, and it tells a story about the Kainga Maturi, which is the traditional name of this area, and it means dwelling place of the deaf. So this Paul Fenua is a Maori carving, and they're usually placed at places of significance. It's about the story of these two people who fell in love, but the daughter of this chief was betrothed to another man. And so they ran away one night and they hid behind a waterfall, but they were temporarily deafened by the sound of it. Yeah, it was during the shark season as well. So you've got a shark here, there's the waterfall there, and it was the chief's son and another chief's daughter, but their love couldn't be denied. So eventually the elders uh, how do you say, gave them permission <laughs> to be together. Oh, that's nice! One of the attractions of this loop walk is to be able to see a waterfall, but I think the entire walk should have some really amazing things. Uh, there was a sign out right at the front, eh bud? Yeah, at the shoe cleaning station that the lower part of the Karamatura loop track is closed. So we would just need to go to the inn and then return the same way. There are tons of different tracks that you can do in the Waitakere Ranges. This Karamatura track joins over to the Donald McLean track as well, which all forms part of something known as the Hillary Trail, which is named after Sir Edmund Hillary, a really famous Kiwi mountaineer and explorer who some of you will probably already know, but he was the first person, along with Sherpa Tengzing Norgay, to reach the summit of Mount Everest. So his trail is super hard out. We're just doing a tiny little piece of it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
for those of you who aren't from New Zealand or familiar with why we do that shoe scrubbing at the start, it is because of these magnificent kauri trees that we're trying to protect from kauri dieback. One of my favorite trees in the whole wide world, they are absolutely majestic. It's quite amazing, huh? Yeah, they can grow like thousands of years old, which we've seen in our Northland, Northland videos. Yeah. Beautiful. Just saw a sneak peek of the waterfall and we have reached this junction point, the end of the top end of the loop I suppose you would say. So that part would have led us back to the car park but it's closed for the meantime and it's only 15 minutes to get to the waterfall lookout point over there. Look at this outdoorsy person. Oh you can do it bud. Out the other side. Nice job, bud. <laughs> From that little stream that Yen just crossed, you reach the base of the waterfall if you take your right. Who knows where you'll end up if you take your left, so probably don't do that unless you know where you're going. But yeah, base of the waterfall now, we're gonna head back up and around and see where we end up in a couple of minutes. Matura Falls is 15 meters tall so it's not the biggest or longest waterfall that we've seen but I can tell you something it is certainly one of the most pretty this entire walk has been magic it's been so awesome to walk around the ranges and seeing how lush it is seeing the kauri trees and then finally seeing the waterfall as well so it's really nice the green pools at the bottom make it look a little bit extra majestic as well just a little bit up from the bottom part that we were at we reached the top of the falls and yeah i thoroughly enjoyed this i'm kind of sealed the deal we're moving out west <laughs> So guys, that wraps up our day here in West Auckland. The Waitakere Ranges, it has been an absolutely stunning day and I really enjoyed that walk. Yeah, me too. I don't think the camera's gonna be able to capture exactly how beautiful everything was today. Yeah, and even here at Cornwallis Wharf where we're going to enjoy the rest of our evening. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and following along with us today. And if you did, please do remember to give our video a thumbs up, drop us a comment. We really love reading all your comments and subscribe if you haven't already. Share our videos, all that kind of thing. Super helps our channel. We it really does. appreciate it. Until the next adventure, everybody. I'll see you then. Gotcha.